Hey guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development, and today we're gonna to be going over the standing and seated calf. Now the principles of these movements are going to stay the same, regardless if you're doing these on a specific machine or not, but we're gonna be showing them to you on the Smith machine today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is gonna be pretty short and sweet, but not too short that you can't hit that subscribe button before we get started. I'm gonna go ahead and have my very handsome model take a step into the Smith machine here. Now we are going to have some elevation with these DC blocks. If you don't have DC blocks at your gym, you can use bumper plates or any other stable surface. And the reason that we have this in place is because the name of the game is going to be the range of motion here. And we wanna have a full range of motion. So this is going to allow some elevation that he can get into full plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him step up and we we want to have the balls of our feet on that platform with the rest of the foot hanging off. Now he's also going to really focus on bracing his core and being able to engage his glutes and ensuring that his pelvis is stable here. We are going to have some softness in the knees. We don't need these completely extended, but we don't want to be focusing on having bend as you're going through the motion, just having that softness through the knee. Now, like I said, the name of the game is going to be a full range of motion. So as Alex goes ahead and starts this movement here, as he gets his ankles up higher, you really wanna think about driving those ankles forward when you get to the top of the movement. We often see, again, people take too short range of motion and you're really cutting yourself short of what this movement can get out of it. So you wanna think about having a full stretch at the bottom, and as you go ahead and press on the balls of your feet, being able to push those ankles forward at the very end of the movement, and there you have it. There's going to be the standing calf raise. As I said earlier, the same principles are gonna carry over to the seated calf raise, but we do wanna ensure that we're not having any swinging with our upper body and being able to still focus on driving that ankle forward at the end of the movement. Now you see me here doing it on a Smith machine and this would not be our first choice. I would say that doing it on an actual seated calf machine would be option number one. Option number two would be going ahead and doing it on a lying leg curl machine and then being able to do it with either a dumbbell or a Smith machine falling into those next options. So I hope this encouraged you to go and train some calves today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you in the next one.